What's up, Hyperfast Nation? On this episode of the show, we are bringing a speaker from the 2023 Hyperfast Agent Summit. Stand by for an introduction from the one and only Dustin Brown. She is the director of operations for the Carrie Schultz team. I've worked with her personally. We've had a lot of fun over the years on the Carrie Schultz team, you know, doing these events, hanging out down here. Uh, she's actually been at the company a little longer than me, 2014. Um, she oversees the finance department, leads. I mean, she took the Kerry Schull team from when it was small, 12 people, over 100 agents and the team members now. I, I was telling somebody, when I met Jamie, she was in the smallest office in the Kerry Schull team, and she was sharing it with somebody. It was half of the smallest office in there. Now she's running the whole entire show. So please give her a round of applause, Jamie Vasco! <laughs> Dustin intro. I wish I could listen to that every morning. Get me going. Hi, everyone. So, yeah, I've been recruiting for a carry for the last nine years now. Um, so I've learned a lot of tips and tricks along the way. And we always ask before these events, what do you guys want to hear about? And we hear recruiting so much. Um, so I'm so excited to share with you. I, over the years, I have, could, uh, learning all these tips and tricks, I could have saved so much time We've made some not great hires and just time, right? Time, that's what it's all about, is having more freedom and making more money. That's what recruiting's all about, bringing on help so that you can have more time. So hiring the right people to support your vision will create the freedom you're seeking. 50% of the people you hire will actually not make it. So when you think about this, recruiting is not a walk in the park. And I'm sure I, many of you can say you don't actually love recruiting. I do love recruiting, um, but I know many of you with your time and all the other things that you're doing, uh, recruiting is not on top of the list. But the problem with that is if you're not spending the time to try to find the right people, it's not going to be a right fit and it's actually going to cost you more money and cost you more time. So I'm going to share some tips and tricks with you guys so that you can save time and make more money. Creating the right to job description is everything. So. I often see people, whether it's just getting templates for descriptions or um, they're almost overselling the position, be yourself, speak from your voice in your ads. So if you're a demanding person, which you all should be, and be really demanding of your time and really demanding of what you want out of this person, out of this role, why wouldn't you come across that way? Um, we want to scare the wrong people away. It's not about getting all of these applicants that aren't a right fit for the role. So if your job description is off-putting to some, that's amazing. You're filtering out and saving a ton of conversations that you shouldn't be having. Leverage your network on all platforms. So social media, which everybody should be leveraging anyway. Posting, who do you know for this role? I'm, I'm um, talking to the people that you're in the rooms with. I'm hiring for this role. It just takes one good person to truly change your life in the role that they're in. Um, we have, if you're posting ads, I would say Indeed, LinkedIn, um, those are the biggest ones. Uh, as far as agents go, referrals are a big one. And again, social media, that's where most of our agents come from. Um, not selling the position, so talking about the pros and cons and the reality of the role. Be specific with what is important to you. So if you're someone that does want them in, in the office certain hours, say that. If you're somebody that does need them licensed in X, Y, and Z, or them to live in a certain location, say that. Or you're just gonna be saying, well, maybe this person could be a good fit, when all reality is, you're not being true to why you ultimately were hiring this role and who you're looking for. Ask the open-ended questions, which, again, sometimes people go in these interviews, and whether, because you're so busy, you're winging it, you're not asking enough, or you're just asking questions that just make it so easy on them. I have dug up some crazy juice that I haven't even asked from that people are willingly to share with me um, by asking things like, what was your relationship with your last team leader like? Or what's it with your current team leader like? The things people tell you. Um, it's just like, thank you, you just made my job a lot easier. I know you're not gonna be a great fit for this team. If it's an admin role and them saying, well, I started this job and 
I started with this task list, and then they had me do this, and then they had me do this. That is a t never a good mentality for this industry, and they're not gonna last. So they weed themselves out. So you have to ask a lot of open-ended questions. Get them talking. They'll talk themselves out of the job most of the time. Be efficient with filtering resumes and creating hoops they need to jump through. So it depends what role, but we oftentimes, like Dustin for Inside Sales, We'll do a video. So we say, send in a video and why you're a good fit for this team. That saves you so much time. If you've ever posted a job ad, you see how many applicants you're getting. So if they're sending a video, A, if somebody doesn't send the video and that was a requirement, you're not gonna move forward with them. If they do send the video, you're gonna see their personality. We've had some amazing videos and our top ISAs now, I mean, I, I wish I had a video to play because Carrie will tell you, we've had some really, really awesome videos. Um, and it's, you just find people like, I wanna work with that person and you see um, you know, what they'll bring to the table from that. And then you're also not even having to hop on the phone with people who aren't a good fit. So second round interviews are really important if possible. If you have somebody else on your team or someone you trust to determine if they're a good culture for, fit for your team um, or to work with you, that's really important. For agents, I'll do a buyer um, presentation. So we'll first meet with an agent in a first round. If that goes well, I send them our buyer presentation and a video of it, I, and then I have them role play it with me. So they'll be an agent and I'll be um, the buyer. Typically I'll do buyer, and unless they're, um, they've done a lot of volume and they're on the list side, sometimes I do the listing presentation. And then you just um, role play that with them, and that will tell you so much about someone. Are they a closer? Are they someone that connects with people? That, I mean, I've had some, people just interview well. A lot of people will interview really well, and then when you do the role play with them, they either bomb it or they're amazing. So that has been really beneficial to us, and that's a requirement to be an agent on our team. So for every 10 people I'm, that come, that we have an initial interview with, I would say um, five of those people end up doing the buyer presentation, and we probably hire like one of those, of the five. So most of those end up being no's. So being really picky with who's on your team. You're spending a lot of time training these agents and I highly, highly recommend you starting them in groups as well because going back to that 50%, um, even if it's two, starting in two in a group, it's so much time training them that if one doesn't make it, your time was well spent and you have a strong agent that started with them. And it's good to have them in the same group and role playing with each other. Stop wasting time on people who can't follow directions. So oftentimes in ads for, whether it's admin roles, operations, marketing, inside sales, like we said, send the video. If they don't do the video, um, or we say, put your favorite color in the subject line, or whatever it is, and they don't do it, you don't contact them. You don't say, oh, well this person's resume looks so good, or they look, they look like someone I wanna work with. If they didn't follow the instructions, that's not someone you want working for you. They couldn't even follow when they should be on the top of their game, which is applying for a job. And don't be narrow. So kind of going back to having that mindset of, um, it's not all about hiring a million roles and saying very, being very niche and needing social and graphic. And if you can have somebody that can really take care of a lot of your needs at once, that's ideal. For me, I get to do recruiting and finance. I really enjoy both those things. And so we have so many roles like that. I mean, you see Lane, she's help put on this amazing event and she's our top she's our head listing manager and she's also talking to clients every day so we all have these hybrid roles and I think that's what's made our team really successful and surrounding yourself with people that want to take on more and take on different parts of the the team utilize shadowing opportunities so I mean we'll we'll, we'll have agents come um, we invite them typically to our staff meetings and if I'm interviewing them and I'm like, I really like them, I'm not quite sure how they'd be in a social setting at times or if they'd be a good fit for the team. So I'll have them shadow our meetings and you can see when people introduce themselves or what your agents will tell you after about someone, um, you'll come to find, okay, then that person's probably not the best fit or people will give really good feedback and they are a great fit. So utilizing shadowing opportunities is, is really great too for agents. Hire slow and fire fast. So again, I know when you're hiring, it's like, I just want this, we have roles we're hiring for right now. And it's like, yes, of course, you want the most amazing person to start today. Think about all the time you would get back. 
But the truth is you're gonna train this person and you're gonna spend money on them. And so you need, it's really important to take the time um, to find the right fit up front. And when your gut tells you this person is no longer a fit for my team, it's usually right. Um, people that we've waited too long to make those decisions on, whether we've let them go or they've left, we typically have known from, you know, that we, they weren't a fit for our team. And so just to know that your gut is typically right, you know your team and you know who you want working for you, fire fast and let them go. It's not serving either of you. Um, so when you think of scaling your team and who you need to support your vision, so many of you right now are probably thinking, okay, I already know who I wanna hire, or I need to map out who it exactly is I can hire and what kind of roles, hybrid roles can I put them in. And then some of you are thinking, I don't have the time to hire. It's way too time consuming. It's, I have to create the job ads and post the job ads and filter and talk to all these people. You wanna talk to clients. I totally understand that. Um, so if you, you don't wanna take my tips and you want to hire us to hire for you, we can absolutely do that. And there's many people in the room today that we have hired for. Um, and thank you so much for entrusting us and finding the best team members for you. Uh, we are Sydney, my girl back there. Um, we hire for you agents, marketing, ISAs, partner agents, uh, inside sales, operations, um, really all the roles. We can help you determine who it is that you want to hire. And we will create ads, post ads, filter and view resumes, do candidate outreach, conduct interviews, role play, create and send offers, and do pay negotiations. So we'll really do everything A to Z for you. We'd love to talk to you and help you out. Um, and here's our site right now. If you want to sign, if you want to sign in here, there's a link that you can put your information, and we'd love to have an initial call with you and help you find those amazing candidates really fast. Any recruiting questions? Don't be shy, guys. Yep. Yeah, so we first obviously talk to the person that we're hiring for and what you would want to pay this person. And oftentimes we'll have a lot of feedback on that as a lot of um, people here can vouch for. So you'll say, I wanna pay this person X. And we know most job markets now um, as we've been doing this for almost a decade. So we'll determine, okay, this is the budget. And if I meet with somebody who's absolutely incredible, I'll say, okay, this is checking all your boxes, but they want a little bit more. And you could say, okay, that's not exactly, I don't wanna go that high. And then we scratch it and we go back to the drawing board, but we try to stay within your budget of what you're looking for. Yeah. Absolutely, yes, we will do that. I think you should put all the things that matter most to you. Because again, it's saving you having to have another conversation and adding and saying, oh, also this. It's filtering out people that A, don't wanna do that, and then it's also helping you find that person really quickly. And we, it's a quick question and answer we'll do, whether it's phone, text, whatever you prefer. We just need a few things to make the uh, job description, but we're happy to do that for you. Yeah, and we post them too. Yeah. Any other questions? No? Okay. Thank you guys so much. We look forward to hearing from you. All right. Thank you for tuning in to this special edition. Carrie and I love doing the Hyperfast Agent Summit. We love doing events. And guess what? Even more than that, we love partnering with real estate agents. Uh, and now we're, what, in over 12 states, 15 states. We love partnering with real estate agents from all over the country. If you want to get access to top-level training, to multiple real estate coaching programs, to mentoring from myself and Carrie Shaw, to help in scaling your business and building multiple streams of income by partnering with us at EXP Realty, I would be honored to sponsor you along with Carrie Shaw at EXP Realty. All you need to do is send me a text message to 703-638-4393. Again, that is 703-638-4393 just text me yes it is me and i will respond and talk to you about how you can partner with carrie shaw and i at exp realty thanks for tuning into the show we'll see you next time